It's a pretty well-known fact that while I spend my days driving plug-in vehicles and covering the latest in cleaner, greener, safer and smarter transportation, I'm also an avid fan of classic cars. Before I stepped behind the wheel of an electric car 13 or so years ago, I think the first EV I have ever driven was the RAV4 EV. I was into classic cars in a big way. Myself and Kate Walton Elliott even filmed a TV promo for a show about maintaining classic cars. But sadly, it didn't get past the commissioning phase. I owned not one, but two Morris Miners, and if you don't know what they're like, they're a little like the UK's answer to the Volkswagen Beetle. One was a hot rod and the other was taken apart to become an EV, but sadly didn't have the structural integrity to make the full transition. And since then, I've actively sought out as many converted electric cars as possible, even getting behind the wheel of an electric Morris Minor roaming the streets of London last year. And I've been eyeing up a very sad, tired looking series of British classic cars at a local dealership in my hometown, dreaming of the day when I could maybe, just maybe, convert one to electric. Of course, at one point, if you wanted to convert your classic car to electric power, you were completely on your own. These days, however, there are a variety of specialist firms out there that will help you do it. From New Electric in Europe to the folks at EV West in California, these are just two out of many, many such firms, there's a lot of help to get you building your ideal classic electric ride using repurposed battery packs from production electric cars like the Tesla Model S and Nissan Leaf. But convert an electric car with new components? It has technically been possible, but until recently, it's relied on expensive handmade custom parts. In the last two years or so, however, we've seen both Jaguar Land Rover and Aston Martin offer the possibility of converting their own historic cars to electric using in-house engineering and bespoke custom designed kits. Both have been aimed at the high end classic car owner market, but this means these kits are unlikely to be all that affordable. At next week's Frankfurt Motor Show, however, Volkswagen will be debuting a conversion kit for owners of the classic Volkswagen Beetle. It not only promises to cater to more modest budgets, but makes use of production vehicle components from one of its other current in-production cars. I give you the Volkswagen E Beetle. Sadly, at the moment, there's no official video footage, but as you can see here, this is a fully converted classic Volkswagen Beetle that the company has teamed up to make with specialist company E Classics. And unlike the run of the mill conversions out there, this one features the latest Volkswagen electric vehicle drivetrain technology, more specifically the battery pack, power electronics and drivetrain out of the new Volkswagen E-Up city car. If you're watching this outside of Europe, you probably don't know what the E-Up is, or as we Brits like to joke, hey up. Uh, it's a joke based off the accents from the north of England. It's a small four seat super mini runabout based off of Volkswagen's gasoline up. It's been in production for about six years. And while its original specifications included a tiny 18.7 kilowatt hour battery pack offering just 160 kilometers of range on the overly optimistic NEDC test cycle, the revised version, which is also due to debut in Frankfurt next week, has a much larger battery capacity of 32.3 kilowatt hours. And it's the battery modules that power this new longer legged E up, which have made their way into the Volkswagen E Beetle. You see, because the Beetle has a separate chassis onto which the body is bolted, the team at E Classics have designed a brand new chassis with integrated battery pack. The pack is made up of 14 of those E Up modules for a total of 36.8 kilowatt hours. Behind the battery is a modified version of the same 60 kilowatt motor and drivetrain powering the E Up, which slots into the space where you'd find the traditional boxer engine in an internal combustion engine bug. Because it's shorter in height than the engine would be, the motor and power electronics make it possible for the E-Beetle to have a rear load carrying space too, which actually improves load carrying capabilities dramatically for the tiny car. Externally, you'd be hard pressed to identify the E-Beetle as such, although it does look to ride a little higher than the original Beetle and also seems to gain an extra side skirt, which I presume is to protect that battery pack. 
But perhaps the best bit about this conversion isn't the likely 200 kilometers of range or its very subtly modified speedometer to include electric car information. It's the charging system. You see, it gets the battery management, battery pack and CCS quick charging of the E up which means it can charge at a rapid charging station like any new electric car. And to gain access to the charger port, well, there it's used a little sneaky copy of Tesla's. The charge port is hidden behind the rear right light cluster. Sadly, I don't have any pricing information yet, but when I do have more, I'm going to share. OK, Nikki, we get it. I hear you saying you love this car and it's cute and everything, but why would I want it? Well, the answer depends on your take. If you're a classic car fan who wants to keep enjoying your car, this conversion is probably the best you can hope for because it's using brand new technology found in production electric vehicles today. It's an off the shelf design, which means that components are new, not old. And moreover, because it's endorsed by the automaker in question, you won't have any horrible moments when things do eventually need repairing and the company that designed the original components refuses to sanction their use in your conversion. Tesla, Nissan, I'm looking at you guys. This not only means it should theoretically be possible for your local dealership to work on the car, but it also makes it far simpler and safer to keep on the road. Volkswagen says also that this is the first such conversion it's partnering with an outside company to offer, but it's not going to be the last. It's hinted that there may be future conversions of other models. In fact, Volkswagen has said that E-Classics is working with it on a similar bolt-in solution for the Type 2 microbus, and it's even suggested an E-Porsche 356 could eventually happen. Of course, converting classic Volkswagens to electric isn't going to be a large part of Volkswagen's future portfolio. That is going to be an e-classic thing. But selling those parts on for conversion helps Volkswagen spread out the cost of new electric car technology. Plus, it's a good way for the brand to earn some much needed brownie points in a post dieselgate world. And of course, it also helps keep older cars on the road rather than the junkyard, which from a carbon footprint point of view, it's really good. Now that automakers converting older models to electric does seem to be a thing, I am curious as to which automaker you'd like to see offer such a service next. Is there a classic car you'd love to give an electric heart to with a maker-sanctioned transplant? Make sure you let me know below. That's it. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.